Children, I hope you all are feeling fine. I welcome you all to our special English hour. As you all know, here we learn lots of new things. And when we learn these things, we also have lots of fun. Are you ready for some fun? Let's get started. Children, as you all know, we always start our day with something fun and interesting. So today, let's watch an interesting video. Children, what do you do when you fall sick? You go to the doctor, right? When you go to the doctor, you tell the doctor how you are feeling. And the doctor gives you medicines which make you feel better. Have you ever wondered if animals fall sick? Hmm. And if they do fall sick, how do they treat their illness? Do they also have a doctor? Yes, animals also have doctors. Do you know what these doctors are called? Yes, they are called veterinarians. These are special kinds of doctors who treat animals. They also help in protecting the health of animals. Now children, we all know that there are many professions in our society which are very important. If we don't have these professions, it will be very difficult to maintain our society. These professions include professions like doctors, teachers, policemen, etc. Can you ever imagine a society without doctors? Think of all the horrors that could happen if we don't have doctors. Can you imagine a society without teachers? No, right? If we don't have teachers, how will we get our education? Similarly, if we don't have policemen, who will protect us? Similarly, the job of a veterinarian is also very, very, very important. They play a very important role in our society. They also do a very important job of protecting and saving animals every day. We, as human beings, know how to speak. We can communicate, right? But if animals are facing a situation where the situation is dangerous, they might not be able to ask for help. And this is where veterinarians come in picture. They are able to communicate with animals, which is what makes their job very, very, very important. So children, now that you know how important the job of a veterinarian is, we should 
all respect them and try to help them in any way possible and the most important thing is that we should learn from them there is one thing that we should learn from veterinarians is that we should always care for animals and try to protect them in any way possible children you all know that it is very important for us to learn new words only when we learn new words will we be able to learn a new language so now let's learn some new words you will come across these words in the poem when we read it so i request you to please make a note of these words in your notebooks competent 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 he was a very competent soldier grown 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 i saw the animal grown in great pain incredible 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 the beauty of the taj mahal is incredible omniscient 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 a sage came to a village and claimed to be omniscient virulent 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 there was a breakage of virulent cholera so children today we learned five new words let's revise them competent grown incredible omniscient and virulent i hope you remember these words and i hope that you have made a note of these words in your notebooks so i request you to please open page number 77 of your textbook i will be reading this poem and i request you to point at the words as i read them the vet to be a successful and competent vet needs knowledge exceedingly wide for each of the patients he is likely to get possesses a different inside he must know why the cat is refusing her milk why the dog is not eating his bone why the coat of the horse is not shining like silk why the parrot does nothing but groan children as you saw this poem is about the vet a vet is a doctor of the animals you all know that we go to doctor when we are unwell and you must also know that there are special kind of doctors for example if you have a problem related to bone you will go to a special doctor who specifically works in bones if you have a toothache who do you go to yes we go to a dentist 
So, just like that for different problems we have different kinds of doctors and they study that specific thing. But there is a difference in a doctor and a vet. The type of patients that human doctor deals with are different. I can go to different types of doctors because they are specifically trained in that particular thing. But a vet is trained in different kinds of things. So he needs to study every animal and their problems. In these stanzas we saw that the poet is giving different examples of the problems that animals could face. He talks about how a cat can refuse to drink milk when we all know that cats love to drink milk. When we are sick, sometimes we don't even feel like eating food that we normally like. So if a cat is sick, he or she might not feel like having the milk. Just like that, the poet also talks about different problems of different animals. Why the ducks and the chickens are failing to lay? Why so faint the canary bird sings? If he is called to the zoo, he must say an incredible number of things. If the lions caught a cold, if the zebras getting old, if the centipede has trouble with his feet, if the hippos feeling ill, if the bisons got a chill, if the arctic fox is suffering from heat. In these stanzas, we saw how the poet says that the vet should have knowledge about every animal. He says that if the vet is called to the zoo, he should have answer to every question and he should have solution to every problem. In these stanzas as well, the poet describes various problems that the animals could face. These are signs of the animals being sick and the poet says that the vet should have all the answers to these questions. If some virulent disease has attacked the chimpanzees, if the tortoise hasn't stirred for several years, if the bears too full of buns. If the cobra eats her sons. If the panther has a wife who chews his ears. If giraffes had a tiff and their necks are feeling stiff. If hyenas will not laugh at keepers jokes. If the monkeys pinched his tail. If the rhinos looking pale. If the elephant eats paper bags and chokes. In these stanzas, the poet is again talking about different animals and the problems that they could face. All these problems are signs that these animals are sick. The poet mentions different types of animals. He mentions animals like tortoise, giraffe, hyenas and many more. And he says that if all these animals are facing all these problems, the vet should have a solution to all these problems. If you look at it carefully, you will see that all these animals are facing different types of problems. 
no problem is similar to one which is why a vet has to deal with different types of problems and he has a very very difficult job if the camel heard his hump if the kangaroo won't jump if the crocodile turns cannibal and bites they run away and get that omniscient the vet and expect him to put everything to rights in these stanzas the poet is again talking about different animals and their problems here the poet says that all the animals have different problems and if you find any animal in danger we should immediately take them to the vet because he is the person who knows everything about animals and he is the only one who can save these animals profoundly i pity the vet who must learn such a very great deal for his pay my son i advise you most strongly to earn your living an easier way don't attempt to attend the zoological crowd a far more advisable plan is to call yourself doctor and so be allowed to treat the illness of a man in the last two stanzas the poet is using a different language he is criticizing the vets but it is for a purpose here the poet is trying to educate us about the responsibilities of a vet he says that the poet needs to have vast knowledge but he says that the vet does not get paid enough which is why he is advising us to not become vets do you think that is the intention of the poem no it's not in fact the poet is urging us to approach this field because people are not aware of this field and the importance of a vet i am sure that you learned the importance of a vet and the role that a vet plays in this society because that is the motive of this poem is kavita mein humne dekha ki kavi alag alag janwaro ki alag alag problems hame bata rahe the isi ke sath kavi ye bhi bata rahe the ki ek vet ka kaam kitni zyada badi zimmedari hoti hai aur ye kaam bahut mushkil bhi hota hai इसीलिए कवि इस कविता के थ्रू हमें ये मैसेज देना चाहते हैं कि हमें इस फील्ड की तरफ अपना ध्यान देना चाहिए और जैसे कि हम बाकी के डॉक्टर्स को जितना सम्मान देते हैं उतना ही सम्मान वेट्स को भी मिलना चाहिए चिल्ड्रेन आई होप दैट यू एंजॉयड दिस पोएम दिस पोएम वॉज समथिंग वेरी डिफरेंट than we usually read this poem also had a very important message bachcho main janti hu ki aapko ye kavita bahut achhi lagi hogi is kavita ke through hame ek bahut important message bhi mila so i hope that you all learned something new today children In the poem we saw that the poet described different problems or illnesses of the animals now 
for this activity i request you to point out five illnesses that you found amusing or different ab hum ek activity karenge is activity mein aapko screen pe poem dikhai degi aapko poem padhni hai aur aapko jo different या अनोखी इलनेस दिखाई दी उसके बारे में लिखना है children i hope that you have written illnesses that you found amusing let's have a look at the five illnesses that i found very amusing my first example is the panther has a wife who chews his ears now when i read this i found it very amusing because panthers are very scary animals and if you see a panther who has a wife who chews his ears in my mind it sounded very funny which is why i thought that this was a very amusing illness now let's move to the second amusing illness that i thought now Let's move to the second amusing illness that I thought was very odd and that was lion has caught a cold. Now I found this very amusing because we always say that lion is the king of the jungle. Now can you imagine that such a strong animal is feeling weak because it has caught cold? doesn't it sound amusing now let's move to my third amusing illness and that is monkeys pinched his tail this was also very funny when i read it now let's move to the fourth amusing illness and for me this was the centipede has trouble with his feet i found this very amusing because centipedes are very famous for their legs they have the most number of legs imaginable which is why i found this very amusing and the last amusing illness that i found was the bear is too full of buns I found this very funny because bears don't eat buns and bears are huge animals which means that they require a lot of energy and for that they eat a lot of food so for me it was very difficult to imagine that a bear could have a full tummy especially after eating buns children these were the five illnesses of the animals that i found very amusing i hope that you have also written these illnesses children for homework i request you to find out with the help of your family members and friends the precautions that you need to take when you are treating an animal i would like to end this session with a nice quote to become a good veterinarian you must like people and this quote is by kevin fitzgerald so children on that note i will end this session i will see you all in our next session Until then take care 
and stay safe. Bye.